Hi Shri Vidya, so let's see your photo reference with uh, your assignment. I think uh, the arrangement you did is good. The light is very strong. The shadows are moving in the back and uh, there are beautiful highlights, shadow shapes being formed on the metal object. Now, uh, I'll, I'll just talk about the metal object in this video because that was the key of this assignment. Oh, the shape is coming along it's not perfect but it's it's coming along so I think you are able to understand how the ellipses are ellipses work and how it is related to all the other curves on the of the surface of the object right now talking about the values let's let's talk about the values and understand what's happening here on the photo reference so the light is coming from this direction and hitting this area most because we could see a really strong highlight here and same around here. Now the light is hitting here. Think about water. If water is hitting here, it will spread on both the sides. So here what is happening, the portion which is closer to the light the light is spreading more around this area whereas this as it is going towards the shadow side the, the amount of light which is spreading is lesser now when i'm throwing water here on this area it will go here and it will go here to some extent the water cannot go all the way to the back after a point it will go it will fall on the ground right so the same thing is happening with the light so when the light is hitting here, till the uh, the portion which is in front, the light will hit. But as it is going back, light cannot change the angle, right? As it travels, so it uh, this portion remains in the shadow part. Now, when I look at your reference, I think you you added values. There are quite uh, three to four different types of values here. But then understanding the pattern is important. So the highlight was hitting here the most. And it, it has to be spread it on, on this side, right? So this that you have done, this side that you have done darker is not as dark. So think about the nine step value scale that you did in color and design. Or um, let me just download this image and turn it into black and white. So uh, it will be much more clear. Okay. Okay. So here we go. Now, um, right. so now when you see the light this value think about the nine step value scale compare this gray with one of your swatches so it's of a very lighter value whereas this is dark which you did here which you did correct and you went into all the details the reflection of the uh, uh, chair the wooden chair the um, potato uh, that is coming along good but why are we not able to see the the plane or the volume because this value got very dark so you need to lighten this value and you need to push this towards a bit more dark and and see how the pattern is moving so if i draw lines uh how you should do it you should use charcoal only for the form shadow part okay so you should use the shadows or the charcoal only for the form shadow and cashew so this complete area and maybe a bit here that's it rest everything should be done in pencil charcoal pencil right so 2b 4b 6b start with the 2b start making strokes in this direction till the till the time uh, 
like as many uh, this, the amount of strokes needed are uh, would be less because we are looking for a lighter value here the white you have preserved so you have done it correct again from the white to be so it would be lighter value then the to be will merge into the form shadow and probably you need to use 4b so that you can connect you can show the bridge between these values and the pencil marks will go like this like this 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 and up so if the pencil marks are in this direction you will definitely achieve the volume so this is how uh, you should do it the same follows for the drapery now when my picture is black and white you can see the drapery is lightest light so you need to actually rub off uh, take off the excess charcoal just keep it very simple keep it very simple two to three values this is the shadow value which is very light and then this is the light value which is almost the sheet cut now for the potato again you need to mark the form shadow see this is the shape of the form shadow right and then charcoal here this entire area then with pencil you need to blend this into the shape so how would you how would i shade it like this like this and then coming down because i want it in a circular manner right so everything is coming from here like this right so i hope uh, the explanation is clear you are doing good you are improving uh, the drawing is much better and the standing of values is there it's just that where to put which value or converting the light the actual colors into black and white is something that you need to work on so